Welcome back to BadDragonProductions.com. My name is Robert and today we're going over how to make a horizontal navigation bar, a menu bar. In our last lesson we put this together. Home News contact us so it rolls over to orange and underlined when you mouse over them. This is the exact same template structure as previous lessons, how to design your first website template. I realized that was like seven lessons long to get through the whole thing, it took over an hour, but I wanted to explain some stuff specifically geared more towards beginners and some of the importance of some of the little things that that um, they might not be familiar with as far as comment tags and hashtags and div tags and all that kind of stuff. So it took us a little longer to get through it. If you go to BadDragonProductions.com, you can download this lesson plan. I have all the code, the HTML and the CSS code, and I have one set commented heavily so you can read the notes in it, and then another set isn't commented at all, so you can just cut and paste the code out of it and uh, you know use it in whatever projects you may desire. So what we're going to do now is, in the last lesson I mentioned we were going to indent some text in the body and put a little copyright footer on it. So let's take care of that. If you go to um, your main area, we're going to get rid of this word main, and we're going to drop in some text. All right? I already have some lorem ipsum uh, already handy. So we're going to go to get that, highlight it, copy it, And then below this this thing is where a title would go. So we can we can put in our lorem ipsum. Refresh. There's our title. And then under that title, we're gonna put in in this area, we're gonna put in our lorem ipsum. And there's all of our text. It's not indented, you say. I know. So we go to our style sheet. And I've already done this, but you put in a class. I put in P because the, the P signifies your, um, uh, your paragraph format is the P. So anything that has a P in it within this area will be indented. So we need to type in div class equals our little p class that we made right here. Anything with a p in it, dot p, our p class, is going to be indented 50 pixels. So we put in our div class p, close our bracket, right chevron tag, and then we need to close the div tag. And being this is all within the main body, it's got to be within the main body div tag. So we're going to put a div tag right here. Closing. Indent. Tag. And it's an exclamation point, not a number one. There we go. Save. Refresh. Ta-da! It's indented. Now if you wanted more of it indented, every <clears throat> you've got your lorem ipsum. We're going to have a P here, which it's, it's already indented from the P class. Then we'll put a break. And in the next line we'll put another P. Chevron. P. Chevron. And at the end of that, we're going to put a break. We actually need the P in there too. Closing P tag. And in this one, we need a closing P tag. And we'll put one more 
Uh, where do we want to put it? Somewhere there's there's a break. Let's see what this looks like. That's good enough. So indent, break, indent, p tag, break, closing p tag, break. And then this one didn't indent, so let's see where that's at. Okay, so we're going to put a p tag here. Left chevron, p right chevron, and at the end, closing, left chevron, slash, p right chevron. Refresh, and there it went. Ta-da! So that's how you indent text using your style sheet with a class. And I'm going to copy this. This is how you do, this is how I like to do copyright info that you put in your footer. You have, again, whatever class you want to call it. And I just, I've got the little copyright symbol in a box. So it's class copyright box. Positions relative within the footer. So it's going to pop to the top. It's going to pop to the top left corner. It would show up right here. And I want it just off the top a little bit, so I put a little bit of padding in it. I padded it from the top, so it'll push it down five pixels. Font size is nine. The color is gray. And then so I don't even have to type it. I commented this in here, and then you can just copy. First, we're going to copy this. We'll take the class, copy, go into our footer, okay? So it's going to be between the footer and the, and the div tag, the ending div tag. So we'll put a little space in here. And then we're going to put div class equals, here's your copy box, copyright box. Or you can just paste the one we got from the other page. Closing Chevron. And then whatever we put in here between... There's going to be a closing div tag here too. So we go back to um, this. Remember I said you can just copy this. Copy it. And then we'll come in here and we'll paste it right here. Right in between. Paste. Refresh. And then there's your copyright. And it'll be the same on all the pages that refer to the style sheet that it's on. So there's your copyright info for any page that uses this style sheet. And they'll all look the same. So there's our page. We'll view it, save, and we'll view it in a browser. It doesn't have a picture in it right now because I've got them on the desktop. I'm working on them from the desktop and the banner is actually properly in the root directory that's why the that's why it doesn't show up when looking at it in safari but live view here's your menu navigation here's your centered title and your indented text and your copyright info if you want to download this lesson get this template get the artwork with it go to baddragonproductions.com I have other lessons there available as well, and I include all the banners, all the artwork, commented and comment-free code for all the lessons, and all of the video tutorials in high definition without any of the commercials. So feel free to visit, and we'll talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.